Good morning children, welcome to maths class. I hope everyone is safe at home. And our first chapter is large numbers. So before starting this chapter, I like to tell you what are natural numbers. What are natural numbers? Natural numbers are counting numbers starting from 1. So what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are counting numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. Counting Counting numbers starting from 1. So the natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Now in natural numbers, this is the smallest natural number. 1 is the smallest natural number. Now we will be thinking what is a good 0. Here in the set of natural number there is no 0, right? There is no 0 in the set of natural numbers. So what do you call that set? And the natural numbers along with 0, we call them whole numbers. Natural numbers, numbers along with 0 with the 0 are called, are called whole numbers. Whole numbers. So whole numbers are starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. You get sure this is the smallest natural number. 1 is the smallest natural number. Now what is about 0? Zero? 0 is the smallest whole number. Okay, now let us move on to the next step. Now we will discuss greatest and smallest numbers. We discuss greatest and the smallest numbers. Greatest and the smallest numbers. Now look at here, the greatest one digit number, which is the greatest one digit number. We studied in the lower classes, right? 9 is the greatest one digit number. So, greatest one digit number is 9. It's the greatest two digit number. 99 is the greatest two digit number. So, greatest three digit number. 999 is the greatest three digit number. So, which is the greatest four digit number. 9999 is the greatest 4 digit number, which is the greatest 7 digit number. ninety-nine lakh ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Means, when you write greatest numbers, greatest numbers, we use only the digit 9. Greatest 1 digit number is 9, 2 digit is 99, 3 digit 999, 4 digit we write 4 nines, and the seven digit number we write seven nines, etc. Now look at the smallest number. Now the question is which is the smallest one digit number? And we study in case of natural number, if we take set of natural numbers, which is the smallest one digit number? Zero, one is the smallest natural number, right? And whole numbers, zero. Zero is the smallest one digit whole number. So here we we'll start two digit numbers. It's the smallest two digit numbers. So smallest one digit number, smallest one digit natural number is one and smallest one digit whole number is a zero. Okay. So now smallest two digit number. It's the smallest two digit number. Ten is the smallest two digit number. Now smallest three digit number. Hundred is the smallest three digit number. Next smallest four digit. Thousand is the smallest four digit number. If you are writing smallest five digit or six or seven digit. So ten lakh is the smallest seven digit 
number, right? Now look at this. When you write smallest number, here we take all the smallest number. The first digit is one. Then we add zeros according to the number of digits. Clear? So greatest number we use only the digit nine. When you write smallest number, we use one and a zero. I hope everyone understood. So let us complete this table. Write down 9999 9 This is 1 digit Next up 2 digit Complete this 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so 1 digit, greatest 1 digit number is 9, 2 digit number 99, 3 digit 900, 99, etc. Next to smallest number, smallest 2 digit number. So 2 digit number is 10, so 3 digit is 100, 4 digit. 1000, 5 digit, 10,000, 6 digit, 1 line. Okay, so 2 digit, so 3 digit, 4 digit, 5 digit, 6 digit, 7 digit, 10 line. Okay. So greatest and the smallest numbers. Next we move on to the next topic. Ascending and descending order. Ascending and descending order. Ascending and descending order. Ascending order. Ascending order is arranging the numbers from small to big. Ascending order from small to big. Small to big. And what is descending order? So descending order is just opposite to ascending order. Ascending order will arrange the numbers from small to big. And the descending order is just opposite to ascending order. That is Big to small. Okay. Then write a few digits on the board. Look at here. 3, 7, 4, 9, 6. Okay. 3, 7, 4, 9, 6. First arrange the digits in ascending order. I told you that ascending order is small to big. So which is the smallest digit in this? 3 is the smallest digit. Right? 3, 4, then 6, 7, 9. Now arrange the same digits in descending order. What is descending order? Arranging the digits from big to small. So which is the biggest digit here? 9. So the next biggest 7, next 6, 4, 3. Now look at these numbers. When you arrange the even digits in ascending order, we we'll get 34,679. Here only 5 digits were given, right? Only 5 digits were given. So when you arrange the digits in ascending order, you we'll get 34,679. The same digits when you arrange in descending order, you we'll get 97,643. Now look at this. This 34,679 is the smallest five digit number formed by using the digits. Clear? 34,679 is the smallest five digit number formed by using the given digits. Now look at this. 97,643 is the greatest number, greatest five digit number formed by using the given digits. 
Okay? So when you arrange the given digits in ascending order, you will get smallest number formed by using the digits. The same numbers when you arrange in descending order, you will get the biggest number or greatest number formed by using the digits. So now we study how to write the smallest and greatest number by using the given digits. Let us take one more example. Ascending order. So ascending order, what is that? Ascending order small to big. So we write 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. Now look at here in the given question, how many digits are there in the given question? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits, right? When you arrange, you will get a 5 digit number, right? Why? Because there is 0 in the beginning you will write 0. So if there is no value for 0 if you write in the beginning, right? Yes or no? When you write the number, if 0 comes in between, it has got value. But when you write 0 in the beginning, there is no value. So therefore, in such a case, when you write the smallest number, what you have to do? You have to take the next smallest number first. Is the next smallest number here? 1 is the next smallest digit, right? So we write it 1, 0, 2, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, the smallest 6 digit number formed by using the digits, using the given digit is 1,2567. Okay. Now, arrange the same numbers in descending order. Same number you arrange in descending order. 7, 6, 5, 2, 1, Zero. When you write in descending order, there is no problem, right? Because zero comes at the end. Now, how many digits in this number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, we'll get a 6 digit number. So, now read this number 7,65,210. So, the greatest 6 digit number formed by using the digits is 7,65,210. Now my question is, uh, how do you understand this is the smallest number and greatest number? How can you make out this is the greatest number and uh, this is the smallest number? In lower classes we study some steps to identify the greatest and smallest number. Let us take one example. Here I write two numbers here. 999. Now by looking, you can just by looking, you can tell which is the greatest number and which is the smallest number. Why? Because the number of digits are different, right? In the given two numbers, in the first number, how many digits here? 1, 2, 3. The numbers up to 100 space, right? But in the second number, how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. So here the numbers up to 1000 space. So easily you can make out, easily you can answer that 7070 is greater than 999, right? So this is the first step. First you should check the number of digits in the given number. The number which is having less number of digits is a smaller number. Number which is having more number of digits comparing to the other number is the greatest number. Clear? Now in case, for example, a question like this. In such a case, how will I identify which is the greater number and smallest number? Because in the first case, the number of digits were different, right? So easily you can identify. But here, in both numbers, the numbers of 2000 place, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same number of digits. So in such a case, you should check each digits. You should compare each digits. So you start from the here the numbers up to thousands place. So you check which digit is there in thousands place of both numbers. In the first number there is 9, right? In the second number again 9. Both are same, right? Then we move on to the next. Look at the hundreds place. Here 
Okay, hundreds place one and the second number hundreds place seven. So which is greater, one or seven? Seven is greater. So which is the greatest number? Nine thousand seven hundred thirty-two is the greatest number. Okay. So here to identify greatest and smallest number, first case, first step, you should check number of digits. If the number of digits are different. So, which number is having more number of digits is the greatest number. If the number of digits are same, then you should check each digit from each place. If the numbers up to thousands place, first you check thousands, next hundreds, next tens, next ones. If up to ten thousands place, we we'll start from ten thousands place. First ten thousands will check, then thousand, and so on. Is it clear? So this. Like this, we will identify, make out which is the greatest and smallest number. Now next, we will move on to the next topic. Okay, children. Now we discuss a few questions. And our question is: uh, Use the given digits and write. The greatest and smallest number you can form. You can form use each digit. Can use each digit only once. And the first question is three comma seven zero eight one four. Okay. And our question is use the given digits and write the greatest and smallest number you can form. So that first of all you check how many digits are given. That is very very important here. Here how many digits are given in this question? Let us check. One two three four five six digits. So when you form greatest and smallest number, in both greatest and smallest number, how many digits should be there? Six digits. Okay, six digits should be there. First, you will write the greatest number. Greatest number, which order you should follow when you write greatest number? Ascending or descending? You have to follow descending order. So first, you will write greatest number. Greatest number. Next, you will write smallest. Number. Okay. So greatest. Since six digits are given, greatest six digit number and smallest six digit number. So greatest number. Descending order. So the greatest digit is eight. Next is seven. Next to four. One, three. One. So eight one six. Yes. Eight lakh. Seventy-four thousand three hundred and ten. Next, the smallest number. I told you that zero is included in the given digit. Should check the next smallest number first. So the next smallest number is one. So we start from one. If you are not taking one first, it's not possible to write a six-digit number, right? So we take one first. Next, zero. Then three. Four, seven, eight. Okay, so one lakh three thousand four hundred seventy-eight. Okay, let us take one more example. One more example. Nine, one, seven, three, two. Okay. So how many digits? First, I told you. First of all, you should check how many digits are given. One, two, three, four, five. So you have to write the greatest five-digit number and the smallest five-digit number. So for writing the greatest five-digit number or greatest number, you should follow in which order? You should arrange the given digits in descending order. So nine, seven, three, two, one. Ninety-seven thousand three hundred twenty. One. So next, the smallest number here in the given is zero is not given in the e e one. Okay, so we we'll start from one. One, two, 
3, 7, 9. So the smallest five digit number is 12,379. I hope everyone understood. So we discuss greatest and smallest numbers, right? When you write greatest number, you should arrange the digits, given digits in descending order. And the smallest number, you should arrange the given digits in ascending order. Okay?